solve for the variable with addition and subtraction. The directions are asking us to solve for x. So there are two ways that we could solve for x. We can look here, it says x plus 7 equals 10. So if in your head you know something plus 7 equals 10, you might know 7, 8, 9, 10. Well, that's 3. So you might know that 3 plus 7 equals 10 in your head, or you might be able to do that quickly. So there's one way to solve. The other way to solve, let's erase that. If we have x plus 7 equals 10, we want to get rid of the 7 on this side, so that way the x is by itself, like it is right here. So we can look at the x, and if we have plus 7 and we want to get rid of that 7, then we could take away 7. However, the equal sign means that if we do something on this side of the equal sign, we also have to do it on this side of the equal sign. So then we also need to subtract 7 on this side. So if we have positive 7 take away 7, all we're left with is x. And on the other side, if we have 10 and we're taking away 7, then we're left with 3. So x equals 3. Now this side says x plus 3 equals 8. So in your head you might be thinking, I know what this number is, x plus 3 equals 8. You might know that off the top of your head, but if not, we can use the strategy I used second in the last problem. So this says x plus 3 equals 8. Well, we want to get x all by itself. See how it's just x on this side of the equal sign. So if we want to do that, we need to take away 3 on this side of the equal sign. But remember, if we do it to this side of the equal sign, we also have to subtract 3 on this side of the equal sign to keep it equal. So on this side, if we have plus 3 and minus 3, then those that gives us 0, so now we just have x equals, and we'll have 8 minus 3. Well, 8 minus 3 is 5. And you might have known that already. You might have known that 5 plus 3 equals 8 because you might have that memorized. But if not, there's a strategy you can use. So x equals 5. 5 minus x equals 0. Well, if we have 5 and we want it to equal 0, how many would we have to take away to make it equal 0? Well, that would also be 5. Now we have 7 plus 3 equals x. Well, this is just a basic addition sentence now because they're both on the same side and there's nothing else over here with our x. So we just need to add 7 plus 3. So 7, we can use our scratch pad if we need to, 8, 9, 10, that's 3, so 7 plus 3 is 10. Well, something plus 5 equals 10. So this is just like that last one where we can look at getting rid of whatever is on this side to get x by itself. So if we want to get rid of plus 5 and we want it to equal 0, we're just going to subtract 5 on this side. But remember, if I'm going to subtract 5 on one side of the equal sign, I also need to do it on the other side of the equal sign to keep it equal. So then positive 5 and minus 5, those are going to cross out, and we're just going to be left with x, which is what we wanted. And now we're going to take away 10 minus 5. Well, 10 minus 5 is 5. So 5 plus 5 equals 10. Is that true? 5 plus 5 does equal 10. Nice work. Something plus 3 equals 7. Well, in my head, I'm thinking, oh, I already know this. I know what, at what number you add with 3 to get 7. So that number in my head, I know, is 4. 4 plus 3 equals 7. But remember, if you don't know that on the top of your head, that's okay, and all we have to do is subtract 3 from this side and subtract 3 from this side, which leaves us with x and 7 minus 3, 
Well, that gives us four. Either way, we get that answer. Great job. Something plus three equals six. I wonder if you can do this in your head. Do you know what number we add with three to get six? Well, this is a double. So three plus three equals six. But remember that if you're not sure, all we have to do is subtract the three from the left side of the equal sign, subtract three from the right side of the equal sign, and then we're left with x equals six minus three. Well, six minus three is three. Two minus two equals x. I don't think I even need the scratch pad for this one because I know in my head that if I have two and I take away two, well, that just leaves me with zero. Seven minus five equals x. So this is a subtraction problem. We have seven, we're taking away five. If you're not sure, you can draw seven circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we're gonna take away five. One, two, three, four, five. Well, that leaves us with two. Something minus three equals five. Ah, I, I don't know this one off the top of my head. So I'm gonna use the strategy we've been working on. So if I wanna get the x by itself, if we have a minus three, well then I need to add three to get rid of it instead of subtract, which means that if I'm adding three on this side, then you're right, I need to add three on this side. So if I add three, that gets rid of the threes here and I'm left with x. So x equals five plus three, well five plus three is eight. So let's clear that and double check. Is eight minus three equal to five? Ah, oh, yeah, that, that's right, now I remember. Eight minus three is five. Nice job. Great job solving for the variable with addition and subtraction.